One of the first pieces I heard of John Renborn's back in 1965 or so, Judy, a really, really fun guitar instrumental. I have a lot of my students work on this. It, it was sort of his answer to Davy Graham's Angie. They were all kind of hanging out together in London and everybody wrote songs named for girls that had A minor descending bass things. Everybody, Bert Yanch, even Al Stewart was doing it back then. So, uh, but I would like to put a lesson together for this. It's really neat. I love the way Judy has, your attention gets drawn from one place to another. You hear the bass. And the melody notes just kind of drop in like raindrops or something. It's, it's, it's stunning. So, uh, I'm, I'm working on a lesson for this. I will put it up at totallyguitars.com. If, uh, especially if enough people log in there and uh, hit the recommend a lesson section of the, of the site because I'm, I'm really trying to do a lot more instrumental guitar pieces. There are a whole bunch of rock and pop tunes up there and stuff, but uh, what I really love doing is instrumental guitar playing. So if you'd like to see a lesson on Judy, come visit us at totallyguitars.com and visit the recommend a lesson section and put Judy in there because if we get enough votes for it, I will get on it. But I want to tell you a little bit about it and what I, what I really like about it. It starts, I've got a capo at the third fret and that's the way they did a lot of these tunes back then. But it starts with just two A's. An A, now I'm referring to these notes disregarding the capo. So the open fifth string hit with the second fret of the third string. Pinch those to a high G, the third fret of the first string, and pull it off. Then your third finger moves down to G in the bass, and you hit a double bass note, hit the, then hit the E in the bass. And pick up the D on the third fret of the second string. Keep that D ringing. That is the most important thing. A lot of my students, when they work on this song, this happens. And it gets really choppy. That's one of the things I really stress in my lessons, is making sure you get it nice and smooth. So, anyway, more on this lesson if you come vote for it at Totally Guitars. So, I'd love to get into more John Renborn lessons. He has written some of the greatest instrumentals of all time. So, come visit us and let us know you'd like to work on some Renborn pieces.